Good morning. I am so happy to have an opportunity to communicate with you today, but there is a catch. I want you to communicate back. The transition team wants to determine who we are and what God is calling us to do as members of Wesley United Church. In order to discover these answers, we need to peruse our history and from that determine our values. We can do this by having you tell us your church stories about people and pivotal events that stand out in your memory. Now, you don't have to worry about your stories being appropriate or fitting into some sort of category. All you have to do is look for something that had a real impact on you. I will relate four examples of stories that I might tell because they made a real impression on me. Remember, these are my personal takes on certain events. You might see the same things differently, and that is perfectly okay. Story number one concerns my absolute astonishment. The first time I saw the turkey pie operation with Robbins Hall full of long tables of happy Wesley United Assembly line workers chatting while they filled, capped, crimped, and bagged hundreds of turkey pies. My next story involves the amazing Betty Patrick. Some years ago, two girls in our youth group elected to attend a youth conference in Winnipeg. At the last minute, the youth director resigned and we had to find a chaperone immediately. Even though Betty had just returned from Winnipeg from Brandon's wall hockey tournament, Within a week, she flew back to that city with our girls and attended to their needs. Some stories reveal difficulties and unexpected surprises that we have faced, and these are important too. For example, two years ago, the women of Wesley, wow, became wow, wow, or the worn out women of Wesley because they worked at three social events and two funerals in about five weeks. With helpful hints wafting up from their leader, who was away on vacation, somehow they persevered through the exhaustion and did a good job as usual. And finally, there must be dozens of stories involving our relationship with Wesley Robbins Retirement Village, an important part of our history. Who could forget our recent struggle over the oversight of the village, which turned out to be an expensive waste of energy and time? Thankfully, the resolution will soon be complete. My first two stories are easier to tell because they recount the good times we have had. However, the last two are just as important because they are part of who we really are. Our stories sometimes can seem difficult to relate because of what they tell us about ourselves, our own self-worth and value. Green Brown says, denying our stories and disengaging from emotion means choosing to live our entire lives in the dark. It means no accountability, no learning, and no growth. Since the transition team's purpose is to help our community of faith establish a good direction for the next decade or so, we need to hear all kinds of your stories because together they can tell us much about our community of faith. They will provide a sort of base of information from which we can grow. We do not need long stories. A good guideline for length is about 50 words, just enough to jog our memories. For now, just think about what story or stories you would like to tell. Soon the transition team will send instructions for your submission. This message will be posted on the website for you to review, as well as the instructions
instructions for your submission. Looking forward to hearing from 